project today was we got the so what we're doing here so we have some water stains and so forth. I'm kind of getting distracted, so we're just doing a little bit here and uh, doing a little bit at a time. But we had some um, water marks here, and those are basically gone. Thankfully, took the um, cheapy uh, polisher and rubbing compound. These are a bunch of little marks here. Looks like somebody touched those up with some paint, and then the uh, water marks. Or the the uh, iron water just kind of stuck to those marks. Then we've got these places down here. I might have the wet sand. I'm not sure what to do about that yet. So I kind of just paused. But I'll um, go from there. <clears throat> so then took some Meguiar's um, headlight polish and so forth. And um, uh, Dave had already worked on these headlights with some metal polish. And got them looking 100% better. And... Uh, went ahead and got that but it went ahead and took the Meguiar's Plastic X um, and just cleaned those up a little bit what would be really cool long term would be to get some that are um, the black housings but for right now since that's working we're not going to mess with that so next thing was I took the grill out we'll take some super clean clean this up here there's our port for the condenser man everything is tucked in there tight fun 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 i bet it would be easier to get that condenser and the radiator out from below that's insane i think we got a dryer or some ac component over there anyways all kinds of, all kinds of little stuff but i took the grill out because we're going to take some plastic um vinyl dip and we're going to do the uh spray that the chrome of the uh, grill and then do the wheels to match i don't know if we'll get all that done today uh, but we might i'm feeling feeling kind of uh going towards it so got this mast cleaned it up with some um brake clean and now we're going to take it over here to our sunny spot or just right here would be looks like it'll be sufficient yeah and just spray it with what we've got left here and see what it looks like yeah all right remember little coats is the trick with this can being almost empty we'll just do our edges here and that'll be beneficial but yeah once to get all done come back and let you see I think it'll look good and then paint the wheels or uh, spray the wheels to match and as long as we brake clean it it seems like it works pretty well one can empty all right keep it posted all right so what I was supposed to be doing today was just polishing out the car but ended up having some time free up this afternoon where I could just tinker on the thing the whole day and so we pulled off two tires and we used some Rust-Oleum Graphite Peel Coat and coated the wheels. They were getting a little crusty anyways and there were some areas where it just wasn't... Ooh, there's some areas I need to hit again real quick. Um, but there was just some areas where the, the um, um, original painted finish was just a little thin, a little annoying. And um, plus with the white and the aluminum, eh, this didn't look that good. So that one looks the better of the two. That's going to be left front and then left rear so we've got the grill done already this is my scrap collection i know it looks terrible but we'll scrap it and make a few bucks so there's the grill Alrighty. so making progress and little things i was going to need to do anyways i'm going to order a um, little bluetooth stereo probably a pioneer unit from um crutchfield this week and uh, single din. I don't need anything fancy, but I need desperately need Bluetooth. So, like I said, rotors had already been replaced when Dave bought it, and the brake pads, plenty of life there. So, I went ahead and took some black leftover paint. And this one's actually a bed coating. I thought the texture looked nice on that one. Just trying to use up some scrap paint. The drums had already been replaced, or um, Dave replaced them when he did either. He rebuilt the bearings or he put new bearings in. I'm not sure which. So, but that was all getting rusty and crusty. So, that's all cleaned up now. 
So I'm gonna to need to get one more can of paint. See, that's what the wheels look like before. Ooh. And then there's what the drums look like before. So I'm gonna to need to get another can of the uh, paint or the uh, vinyl wrap before I can do all four. So just a little bit at a time. Yeah, so there's the original look of the uh, caliper. So just the wheels just look a little bit dingy and it, they did that coating did really good on the Suburban when I did those other 20s I had on there. It did really good on the 16s. When I sold the 16s, they was still very respectable and I had washed them and pressure washed them. So I'm not concerned with the um, durability of the coating. The biggest thing is just a prep and I just took um, brake clean and um, a rag and just cleaned them um, uh, once over and then another um, real quick spray and that seemed to do fine but I think that's really going to dress up I probably could have gotten away with doing a flat black just since it's predominantly um, the white and the black so but the um, the graphite will um, changes up a little bit let's use the grinder real quick to make it but you yeah, know with the graphite and then once we stick that on there I think it's really gonna pop nice so I'm gonna go back and respray the rear wheel and then come back and see if I can polish out some of this lower area here because that's where I'm gonna see the most of the time and it just really is irking me um, but anyways making progress and then down probably another couple months here we'll get it um, tinted it's gonna be like 269 to tint all the windows but that is a lot of area. Get a little sun strip across the front and it will look sharp. So, fun to make some progress. But, anyways, all right, so that's a progress report. Keep it posted. So, there we go. Got the wheels coated with the vinyl. I like the way it looks. Got some LED lights up in there. Gonna do the HIDs eventually for the headlights. And there we go.